Cool. Wow. I wouldn't have thought that it's that it's that the color is going to look like this. Oh my god. I really can't wait to wash it out and see how it looks like. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Oh my god. This is cool. This is cool. I mean, yeah, this is a little bit annoying, but... Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. This is so cool. So cool. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Sarah Up and welcome back to Sarah Up TV. Today I'm going to dye my hair green. At least I'm going to try because I know I've just previously dyed myself this leopard print, but it's growing out already and you can see the dark roots. And I've used permanent hair dye, so this might become a little bit complicated but just in case it's not going to work i think i'm going to, uh, to shave it all off again and then i'm going to enjoy my green hairs but before we start make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't already for more diy hair content for example cutting my hair dyeing my hair everything doing by myself and leave me a like yep thank you and let's start so First off, I actually planned a, a synthetic wig video this week, but it's actually way more complicated than I thought. First I had problems with starting the wig and then I was getting better definitely, but then I had problems with the record files on my computer and after that I said, okay, come skip this video for this week and you wanted to re-dye your hair anyways because I think it's not wearable that kind of in that way because it looks kind of grayish. So first off, I'm going to put something in. First, let's start with the bleach. I actually need a lot because I have very many hair. And I'm using 9% developer, which I wouldn't recommend for everybody, but in my case, my hair, they just don't get really bright the way I want with 6%. So I've always used 9% in the past, so I, I switched back to 9%. Be very careful with that. I'm just used to it and I know how it works and I know how it works on my skin and on my hair. And I think we need a lot of uh, very strong bleach in this case because it's permanent hair color that I've used last time. And let's start. I wish I could show you the wig this week, but it just didn't work out the way I planned. Yep, now I'm going to leave that in for 45 minutes and we will see what has happened. Now I've actually let it set in for almost one hour. I'm going to wash it out right now and see if I could get rid of the rest of the paint and, and the permanent hair color. If not, I'm just going to buzz it off. Anyways, let's do this. <laughs> Don't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. I mean, it's blonde. Definitely it's blonde. And I also have a dark spot left over here. I don't know how this always happens. Wait a minute, let me get my back mirror and let me check the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the black permanent color. I <laughs> have some orange patches on my head right now. I think I knew it already. I have to reshave definitely. Yeah, so let's get my clipper. I think this is enough security. <sighs> but actually I wanted to let my hair regrow completely but in this case I can't leave it like that because I want to have light green hair and I promise this will be the last reshave. Should I go for three or for five? I think I go for three, three millimeters. Oh, last time, last time. So, just got rid of all the small hair and I'm back in my bra again. 
Yeah, I've just decided to go over the little spots here and here and here and here to have an even finish. Oops, Ella. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to dye my hair spring green by directions and I've never used this color before. So I'm kind of excited how it's going to turn out. So, uh, and after that, I'm going to put on spring green by directions. Uh, as I already mentioned, I haven't, I've never used this color before. And I'm very curious how it's going to turn out and if this color suits to me. <laughs> we'll see, maybe it's going to be something like Joker hairstyle. I would really celebrate this, but yeah, for that I have to wait a few minutes more right now. Guys, uh, I just have to wash off already these spots because I forgot I'm using 9% and it's super high and it's super itchy right now and I'm actually kind of scared to burn my scalp and I don't want to do this. I want to prevent to burn my scalp here. Yeah. That's why I have to wash it off and I have to go with the spots, whatever. Fuck that! It was so itchy. Not even itchy, it was burning. And then I came and I was like, <gasps> Sarah, you are, you're having 9% on your head. The second time and I just once did it to bleach twice with 9% over my head. And after that my hair were just gum. Just, yeah, gummy gum. So go on, let's go on with the green, let's go on with the green, yep, let's go on with the green. As I told you guys, it's, this is actually just a, how do I call it, um, an emergency, it's a last minute idea to, to dye my hair green. So yeah, I'm actually rid of all the <laughs> products I need, that I need and I'm kind of happy that my hair has became that bright because this was the last, the last rest of my developer and I also don't have any conditioner anymore to brighten up the spring green, spring green direction color but I do have the rest left and I'm going to use the conditioners of the package dye that I've used last time so yeah we will see if it's going to be enough. Mm -hmm. See some conditioner left. thing is, I know direction colors, all, all, all of them mostly that I've used already, they darken, they get darker while you are, while they're on the head. I don't know how it's going to be with this color. Uh, it's that bright. Let's put in some more. But I want to prevent that it's going to be too dark because I don't like it too dark. candy <laughs> all my k-pop insider will understand it's so wow it's cool wow Original tennis ball color. <laughs> um, actually, because even um, for that reason that it's a plan B, I'm very, very happy till now. Doesn't mean that it looks like this, looks so cool like this when it's going to be washed out. I hope I've reached every spot. 
but I'm going to massage it in shortly before I'm going to wash it out, but it's looking so cool. I wouldn't have thought that it's, that it's, that the color is going to look like this. Oh my God. I really can't wait to wash it out and see how it looks like. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a sour candy. I always have to laugh when I look in the mirror because I haven't I haven't planned, I haven't expected that it's turning out so neon-like. <laughs> and I always wanted a neon hair, but um, directions don't offer neon colors, so... But now let's wash it off and see how it looks like. Wow! Oh my god! This is cool. This is cool. I mean, yeah, this is a little bit annoying, but... Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah! <laughs> this is what happens if nothing goes after plan, but in the end, I'm ending up with super cool neon green, neon yellow hair. Schultz. <laughs> I'm gonna show you from this side. And this is how it turned out. I'm really happy. <laughs> because, I mean, today nothing was going like I was planning it and at the end of the day, I'm super happy with my new hair color and I didn't expect it to be able to get this neon hair color. Oh my God, with directions. It was spring green and mixed with some with with some uh, 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 conditioner. Sorry, my English is sometimes I have brain goulash. Yeah, that's so cool, so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sour candy. I'm original sour candy right now. Our tennis ball, but yeah, this is so cool. I can't get enough actually, but every time I look in the mirror I have to laugh because it's so so bright and I shine so much right now, but I enjoy it. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm one of these lucky motherfuckers that if everything goes wrong, in the end I'm still ending up looking so fabulous. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, what I also wanted to say is, I mean, the day just started so shitty. Nothing worked the way I planned it. The wig was horrible. I had not enough conditioner, not enough developer. Actually, this was the last rest of my developer that I used today to get rid of the, the, the leopard print. As I told you, I, to uh, I planned to show you the wig install, but this didn't work with the files. Also, I was having some problems to install it and plug it because I noticed I have actually no plan how to do this <laughs> and I need definitely a little bit more time to get used to that, to how to install a lace front wig because I'm a total beginner with that. Actually, everything was empty because it was a kind of plan B ending up <laughs> with neon green, neon yellow tennis ball hair is just amazing for me. <laughs> I am so happy right now. You have to be not so forced on one specific goal. Just be free. Just do whatever you want. Use the things you have. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy with myself right now. I'm so happy that I'm ending up with this amazing hair color. I can't wait to take pictures with this. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. That's all. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, yeah, this is actually a very cool experience for me and I hope I hope you guys get inspired for trying out some strange unique hairstyles and yeah thank you so much for watching I appreciate your attention please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a like uh, we see us next week and I hope I can show you my wig next week and i hope i can show you how to install uh, lace front wigs the right way so you so it looks 
natural as much as possible and you're feeling great with your wig. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> what?